Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to get rid of unwanted noise, pops, squeaks, and really anything that's annoying in your guitar recordings. We'll do this without using any additional plugins. We're just going to be using Reaper and a beverage of your choice. Mine is coffee. Hmm. So now that we have Reaper loaded up, we have a track with some uh, weird fret noise. Uh, I'll just play that back for you so you know what it sounds like. Okay, so we can definitely hear some uh, weird noises in there. So, first thing you want to do to get rid of those, first of all, let's make that a little larger so you can see it. Then go up to View and go to um, Peaks Display Settings. That's the option you want. Click it and then change the display mode here to spectrogram. Now depending on your project that might take a little while to load but this is just one file so it didn't take very long. So first thing you want to do is again zoom in on the area that you see that the problem is so let's play it back. You notice the fret noise is coming from this area in here so what you're going to want to do, you can see where that sort of jumps out. There's a normal wavelength and then it just kind of jumps out. That's the area of your fret noise. So first thing you do is just select that. If I can get it. Wow. Okay. For some reason. There you go. Okay. Oh, first of all, yeah, make sure your snaps in it. snaps off. Otherwise you can't select things properly. Pro tip. Okay. So. After that, you select it like that, then you right click, and you go down to Spectral Edits, and then you hit Add Spectral Edit to this item. And I'll give you this little box thing. So what you want to do is you want to shrink the box down. Oop, everything's going wrong. You want to shrink the box down to about the size of the area that you think is the problem. this area right here okay so first thing you got uh, different knobs here you got one's a compression threshold and ratio I'm not really gonna mess with those um, so basically what you want to do is just turn this down see how that changes so I think we want to get this top area too so that'll turn it down basically and then uh, you can fade in and out a little bit to smooth it out and that's sort of what the compression's for you can smooth it out this way too so let's see what that sounds like now so you can hear a definite difference um, you don't always want to get rid of it altogether because it just sounds unnatural, but um, that's pretty much how you do it. And this works the same way with vocals. Usually, uh, if you hear a high hiss or a pop, usually there's something poking out kind of like this, and you can just kind of knock it out. Um, and this works with electric guitar as well. Well, that wraps up this video for today. If you enjoyed it, please... Uh like and subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Peace.